Welcome back guys to our playthrough of Pokemon Crystal. Last episode we didn't really do much. I switched up the team a little bit as you can see and I decided to get rid of uh, a couple of our team members. We got rid of the starters or at least uh, Cyndaquil and Chikorita for now. Um, I do plan on getting rid of Totodile. As soon as I can find, um, well, a Poliwag is what I'm looking for. Ah, Bellsprout. I don't need you. I really wanted to get a Poliwrath on the team, like I said, so we're going to get that. I'm going to do some grinding and then hopefully take on Faulkner, but I want to bring my team up to snuff a little bit. I don't remember. Did When I first started out my game, did I, like this early on, get rid of the starters? Because I didn't end up with the starters in, the, in Pokemon Gold. There we go, baby. Nice. Uh, I want a male one, actually. So I'm going to, I'm going to wait. We'll keep on going. There's a 30% chance, I think, that we can get a Poliwag um, in this grass. So there's a pretty good chance we'll run into one. We'll do a little grinding and then we'll, we'll move on. And we can take on our first gym leader, I think. We'll do a little tour of Violet City as well and we'll go over that um, once we get there. But... Um, also, so just as a little bit of a recap, in the last episode, we didn't do much, like I said, except catch a hop-ip, and we kind of just, you know, battled a few trainers and what have you. Moved the team around, um, and I talked about some other topics that were sort of like, they were related to the game, or at least from a YouTube Pokemon standpoint, um, but I also talked about a few different things that I wanted to, um, to do in the future, and it's, it's so tough. And I think one of the things that's also kind of difficult when doing these YouTube videos is that I have things on my mind that I want to share with you. And I often wonder whether or not um, I should talk about them because on one hand, I don't know how open I want to be about things that are on my mind because like I want to maintain composure. I want to, I want you to instill confidence in me that I know what I'm doing, even though I think it's pretty clear that I don't. But on top of that, I also want to make sure that I don't talk about things that are, how do I put this? that become dated, you know what I mean? Like I, cause like the things I'm thinking about now are things that are not gonna be relevant in a year from now. Some of them are, but specifically what we talked about in the last episode is not gonna be relevant. So a year from now, when I am ready to go and uh, you know, I'm taking on new challenges and, and topics and subject matter for the channel. And if someone watches this a year from now, they're gonna be like, well, this is, this conversation isn't even relevant anymore. Like I've always wanted to have timeless conversation in my YouTube videos, things that didn't have a, like an expiration date of relevance in it, you know? And so I'm, I think about those things too. So I, I want to be super careful when I'm talking about stuff like that, you know, especially when I'm doing a playthrough and I want to maintain the commentary about the games that I'm playing. But I think also too, there's been a lot of reception of people being very open and appreciative of me, like having sort of like a thought dump in conversation. I don't know. It's 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 weird. Like I don't I don't know if there's some sort of like guidebook on how to YouTube or like the content that I should make or, or whatever. I don't know. I mean there's obviously things that I know that I could do to optimize views on my channel, but like I don't want to do that. Like I'm not interested in trying to get the most views possible. I wanted I wanted to slowly grow the channel organically with people that were invested in in me more than the content I make, unless you consider how I present myself as the content itself. Cause like we're here, we're here like talking about nothing related to Pokemon Crystal right now. So I want to make sure that like, it's clear what, uh, awesome, that uh, what my goals are and that you guys can, you know, help me with that. Please don't knock him out. Excellent. We should be able to capture a Poliwag, Pack, uh, Pokeball, Bingo Bongo. This will be the first time I've ever had a Poliwag into a Poliwrath on the team. Excellent. All right, so I'm actually gonna change this now in a second here. All that was added to the Pokedex. Okay. Polywag Tadpole Pokemon. The swirl on its belly uh, is its inside showing through the skin. It looks clearer after it eats. Interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and change this. I'm gonna go ahead. Where is you? There we go. Okay, there's that. And there's that. Okay, so now move you into a position of logic there. Okay, cool. All right. All right, give a nickname to Polywag. 
now we're good for now um all right let's go ahead and heal up a little bit and then let's do a little bit of build up let's see what is what is faulkner's line of pokemon oh he's weak as heck okay so yes that's what we're gonna do i was gonna grind in between videos but i don't really have to because even in crystal his team sucks like this is ridiculous let's take a look actually i'm curious about this okay uh brock whatever all right so brock is the first gym leader we ever face in the history of ever and you see that's what i thought that pisses me off brock in red green and blue version green being the japanese exclusive not talking about leaf green by the way um level 12 and level 14 12 geodude and 14 onyx and then faulkner this freaking idiot has a pidgey at level 7 jesus unbelievably weak like i just don't get like why dude why why would you do this like why do you want to be so lame you know what i'm saying like i don't get it i really don't understand like why he wants to have such a such a i don't know man that level curve i thought it was going to be better than gold and silver but apparently it's not all right all right so now uh i'm actually gonna do this now, I'm not quite sure exactly what Pokemon, sorry, Dave, what Pokemon that we have um, here at our disposal coming up, because I know that I'm going to be mixing up the team and I haven't quite polished um, the final team um, in my mind yet. So I'm not quite sure who is going to quite make that. Um, let me rename these things, too. I always do these editings. Uh, I wish the naming look right live when I'm doing it. I don't like to do it after the fact, but I'm also doing this like for my own self. I'm just taking notes here real quick. Okay, cool. So I got that. All right. So we have a hop up and we have a polywag. All right. So now this is going to be kind of a tough fight, but we're going to, what I'm, what I found is that when I usually fight gym leaders, it, the time it takes to beat them is very quick if I over level. And so I don't want to like, I, I probably will do this in between videos at some point. But I don't want to uh, make them too strong. I don't think that I'd be able to beat Faulkner right now, given my leveling. Because uh, he has a level 9, and that would stomp us. And level 7 would be hard as well. Two 4s against a 7, maybe I pull it off. But uh, two 4s against a 7 and a 9, it just isn't going to... There's no way. It's just not going to happen. It's not. There's no chance. Oh, shoot. We got a Ghastly right away. Oh, snap. Okay, I didn't think that was going to happen. I didn't realize that Ghastly was here. Um, I know I talked about it, but I wasn't really paying attention to exactly, like, where it was. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's do something here real quick. Bear with me. Well, that's the other thing that I'm still kind of trying to figure out now. Um, I don't know whether or not Ghastly will make the final cut, because I don't want to have too many... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Gen 1 starter, or Gen 1 Pokemon on the team. Well, well I guess I might not have a choice. Um, this might be, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. Okay, yeah. We're going to, we're going to capture this Ghastly for now. Don't paralyze me. Ah, you son of a... Okay, we're going to have a curious team here oh nice we were able to have the paralysis that sucked <laughs> yeah we're not going to be able to let's see what does hop up have as far as like attacks right now does he have anything splash i'm sorry huh what is a grass type pokemon knowing splash for all right this might be a little bit more of a a troublesome battle than I expected. Alright, I'm gonna see what we can do. We've got plenty of Pokeballs. I might just have to throw balls uh, at this thing's face. I'm just gonna toss my balls in his face and hopefully, you know, he'll be able to, you know, stay inside. Yeah, we got him! I didn't think that was gonna happen. Excellent. That worked out fairly well. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, I'm trying to put... How do we put Ghastly there? There we go. Brilliant. Excellent, dude. All right, cool, cool, cool. 
It wraps its opponent in its gas-like body, slowly weakening its prey by poisoning it through the skin. All right, let's go heal up now. And then, okay, cool. All right, we're mixing it up. We're mixing it up. I, uh, okay, so also too, just a topic, I think, <sighs> let me think for a second. Um, so Poliwhirl evolves through a water stone, right? That's right, I forgot. And it also evolves in a Politoed via the King's Rock, which would not apply to me because I edited the game file so I could evolve it without trading. Uh, interesting. I could do Politoed. The thing is, is Politoed I kind of find to be rather lame, honestly. I'm just not into it. I think Poliwrath would be dope. Politoed is a pure water type, but at least Poliwrath has water and fighting on his side. Hmm. Curious. Curious, curious, curious. We'll see. I'm wondering... Hmm. I'm trying to think my way through whether or not I want to keep Gengar on the team. We'll, we'll probably keep Gengar for a while, but I don't know if I just want to, like, get rid of him. Gengar is a nasty Pokemon to have, and he's just so effective. You know what I mean? Alright, so we gotta level the team up. That's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna beef the team up, and then we're gonna challenge Faulkner. I don't know whether or not... Ooh, that's a cool sprite. It actually looks like Gengar. Weird that Hoppip has that oddish looking sprite while Gengar and Poliwhirl both have their, or Poliwag rather have their, sorry. Ghastly has a Gengar sprite. I don't know, the whole thing doesn't make any sense. Like they made some Pokemon like sprites specifically look just like their sprites. But like when we had, what was it? Oh, these are nice. Good combination. When we had uh, Totodile and Cyndaquil, neither one of them at all looked like uh look like they're sprites okay let's see we're going hmm. i might be able to all right let's do this i am actually okay so here's the plan um we're about we're a little over 12 minutes in let me do some grinding here real quick i'm gonna level the team up to let's do this let's review one more time okay so if faulkner has a seven and a nine let's raise all three of these guys to level eight do i want to i'm wondering and there's three trainers in his gym including him yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and we back that took a lot longer than i thought that it would okay all right we are ready to roll um let's go heal up real quick um, okay. Yeah, that took a really long time, especially for, uh, Hopip. I actually brought Hopip up to level 10 because he learns tackle at that point and no damage dealing moves, um, at all, uh, up until level 10 when he picks up tackle. Um, so I think Poliwag and Ghastly are now both at level 8. I didn't, I don't think I, let's take a look. I should have probably started there. Um, let's see. Okay, yeah, so Poliwag and, and Ghastly are at level 8. Hoppip is at level 10. Um, like I said, I had to do that simply because he had no other moves. I was tired of using that. It was just, it just, it was, no. No, 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 no. Just not good. Not good at all. Um, let's move some stuff around real quick. Just get this in position. He's going to lose most of these moves anyway. What a terrible lineup of attacks. Um, moves as well. Bubble Hypnosis. It's fine for now, I guess. Ghastly, oops, wrong one. Very interesting sprite work for Ghastly here. I kind of like that. Um, Lick, Hypnosis, and Spite. So he picked up Spite. I'm probably not going to use that much. That much cuts the, the power points to the foe's last move. Well, that could be useful. All right. So now I think we're ready to take on, uh, oops, Faulkner and the uh, other trainers in the gym. But let's take a look and see what's going on here in Violet City. Um, all right. Okay, wasn't her to talk to you. Ghosts are rumored to appear in Sprout Tower. They said normal type Pokemon moves had no effect on ghosts. All right. A Pokemon you get in a trade grows quickly, but if you don't have the right gym badge, they may disobey you. Very true. I act like Pokemon. Do you have Bell Sprout? Want to trade it for my Onix? No, I'm fine. I wonder. His Onix doesn't have a metal coat. Like it doesn't evolve into Steelix, does it? Because that would be interesting. Wait, is this what I think it is? 
Earl's Pokemon Academy. Huh. Mm, no, it's Ecrotech, right? Ecrotech? I always say Ecrotech. Is it Ecrotech? I'm gonna say Tech. I don't care what you say. I don't care if it's Teak. That's ugly. Tech all day. Uh, I've always said it that way. I'm taking notes of the teacher's lecture. I'd better copy this stuff on the blackboard, too. I don't really know it. need to know any of that. A Pokemon holding a berry will heal itself in battle. Many other items can be held by Pokemon. It sure is tough taking notes. Huh? The Pokemon I got is holding something. Nice. I traded my best Pokemon to the guy beside me. Well, that was kind of a dumb move, wasn't it? Hey, you're a Pokemon trainer. If you beat the gym leader here, you'll be ready for prime time. All right. Violet City, the city of nostalgic sense. That's what I call my farts. Faulkner from the Violet Pokemon Gym is a fine trainer. He inherited his father's gym and has done great job with it. Okay. Hello, you are trainer. Battle gym leader when you did. No. Is that so? Then study shall you. Follow me. What is this guy's deal? Here, teacher I am. Good it is you study here. Does he give you something for coming back here? Cause like... Let's see what's going on. I really need to get to that battle though. Earl I am. Wonderful are Pokemon, yes? Teach you I will to be better trainer. What you want to know? Want to be winner is you? Sure. Good, teach you I will. In battle Pokemon top on list, jump out of first. Change order in list, make battle easy, maybe. More from the... No, I'm good. Oh, smart student you are. Nothing more do I teach. Good to Pokemon you must be. That would be the worst teacher ever. My god. It's almost as bad as Yoda. Alright, I think we're ready for the gym. Let's take it down. And then we can explore the rest of the city. Faulkner, the elegant master of flying Pokemon. What's the order of my team real quick? Hollywag, Hoppip, and Gastly. Let me take a note here real quick. Hollywag, yeah, okay. Good, good. All right. I don't want to approach this. Hoppip's probably not going to be very useful right now. But I want to. I want Poliwag to take the front state, front stage, center stage. Because I want to get Polyrath more than anything. Oh, hey, this guy. Hey, I'm no trainer, but I can give some advice. Believe me, if you believe a championship dream can come true. You believe? Then listen. The grass type is weak against the flying type. Keep this in mind. Yeah, plus, you know, Hopip's only no tack Hopip only knows tackle for damage, so. Let me see if you are good enough to face Faulkner. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love doing the annoying voices like that. All right, what you got? He's got to have a weak Pokemon, right? Less than level seven. Oh my god, a level nine. Okay, wasn't expecting that. All right, let's go Hypnosis first and foremost. Put this guy to sleep. I wanted to put myself at a disadvantage because the level curve sucks. I'm going to be paying very close attention to gym leader levels just so I can kind of be... In a position to, like, have a slight challenge, but also, like, a... I don't know. A more dramatic fight sequence, as it were. Because it's no fun when I load up and I'm like, Okay, guys, we're going to fight this gym leader. And then I go in there and then I just, like... Oh, crap. And then I just clean house. And it's like, okay, one hit KO, one hit KO, one hit KO. That's, that's one thing that I learned from my Pokemon Gold playthrough. I was like... The, the leveling in Gen 2 is a bit tricky, so I want to make sure that I spend time grinding out in a position where I go in under level by just a little bit. Come on. I need to go buy some potions. This is going to be tougher than I expected. Come on, buddy. I mean, he, if he levels up now, I can, there's nothing I can do about that. Um... Because I think it's, what, 7 and 9? Is that what Faulkner was? I can't remember. Is that what I said? Yeah. 7 Pidgey and a level 9 Pidgeotto. Alright, hit him again. Alright. 
Is that enough to level up? Yeah. All right, I need that health, and I need to buy some potions as well, just to be on the safe side. This can't be true. Take your money. All right, let's go get prepped for that. I didn't say it. I don't think I said it. But I haven't seen any comments of anyone yet uh, referencing the, the name of my character. I feel like Marceline is like the female version of my name. And Marcy is short for that. So as far as I'm concerned, despite the fact that the display in this game says Marcy, Marceline, baby. That's that's the name of my character. I'm, I'm sticking to it. All right, now where is... No, I definitely should have known that wasn't it. Where is the Pokemon art? Oh crap, I am broke. We'll buy one potion. I didn't realize I didn't have such little financial backing right now. Play, whoops. Okay, alright, now we're taking on guy number two. The keyword is guts. Those here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Then why... Then why do you have, like, a level 9 Spiro? That's that's mastery to you? What is going on here? Okay, this guy's gonna be way weaker. I'm um, not way, but we have a slight advantage. Hypnosis. That's a useful move for him. I do wonder if I sh what my final move set's gonna be. I've never had a Poliwrath before. And I'm on the fence now, simply because I have Ghastly. And the fact that Ghastly evolves into Gengar is a... Gen 1 Pokemon, I'm like, I so badly want to have a Poliwrath, but I don't want to have more than one Gen 1 Pokemon on the team, so I might swap out Ghastly for something else. It just depends. I don't, I want to, I want to have a fresh team. I don't know, maybe, I might change my mind about that. Maybe I'll make the, I'll make the exception of two. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I really want an Alakazam, but I don't think I'm going to do that this time either. I I have Alakazam on the team a lot. Well, it would be fantastic, I'm just not ready for that. Or I, I'm not, uh, I'm not wanting to repeat that. I want to keep it, I want to keep it fresh and interesting and, and new. Nope, all you Poliwag. I need to get him to level up the most. When does Poliwag evolve uh, into Poliwhirl? What level is that? Poliwag begins to evolve into Poliwhirl level 25 and then Poliwrath at the Waterstone. I really hope we get a Waterstone like soon. I don't actually know where that is. I wonder, let me look that up too. I just want to know. Oh, it didn't affect, it does affect him though. Crap. Damn, really? Oh no. Someone's a call and tell you. Okay, I see. So Route 42, you can get a, a water a water stone from Fisherman Tully. Interesting. Okay, so here's here's a technique to get a water stone at level on Route 42. There's this trainer called Fisherman Tully. Battle him and ask him for his phone number. Oh god, I didn't realize I was like so close to being knocked out. Um, get his phone number. Someone will call call you up and say he has something for you or he wants to battle. Every time he wants to battle or has something for you, go over to him. Eventually, he'll give you the water stone, but it can take a while. A quicker way to make him call is by changing between daylight savings time and daylight save and not daylight savings time by going to your house in the game. Um, interesting. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. That's slightly useful. We'll see. I mean, I might do Politoed because Politoed will evolve by level. Actually? Yeah. We'll see. I'll look... Mm, I'll look into this. Because I edited the game file so that we can evolve trade Pokemon by leveling up. I, I don't think it impacted Poliworld or Poliwrath, though. 
In fact, I'm almost positive it did not. Because it wouldn't make sense to have two forms by leveling up, so yeah, one is probably still Waterstone. Don't knock me out, don't knock me out. That was weird. It like stopped and then it was like, no, we're going to take one more HP off. Okay, so that's the kind of difficulty Poliwag is going to have against Faulkner's first Pokemon is Pidgey. So I think Ghastly will go up next for that. Okay, let's do Pack. We're going to Potion it up. I know it's fine. I really just don't want to go back. All right, let's challenge Faulkner, baby. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying-type Pokemon's wings with the jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to, to birds, Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird. You know what? I think there's actually an electric type off of a nearby route. I wonder. I betcha. I betcha there is. I hate that Faulkner also looks so cool, but he has the lamest Pokemon in the game. For a gym leader. I mean, I don't expect him to have, like, a Charizard and, like, you know. But I just kind of feel like they could have been a higher level, or maybe, like, he could have... Like, well, maybe not Pidgeot, that'd be too strong. I don't know, I don't know, he could have had some, anything else, you know? There we go. And then I think Ghastly will clean up for sure, because he can take the hits. I don't think Pidgey will be able to slam him with anything, unless he knows Gust, which I think he can hit him. But, like, if he's got Tackle, it's not going to work, right? And I think if he has, like, Peck or something, it's not going to work. Level 10 makes it so we have a little bit higher stats on our side to protect us from incoming damage around that level. So we should be, yeah, we should be perfectly fine. What's this do? Seven damage? Five damage, okay. Bubble's not a great move, but Poliwhirl should be useful. We'll see how it goes, though. Nice. Well done. All right, Faulkner's about to use Pidgeotto. Yes, she will switch to Ghastly here. I like the animations in this game as well. Man, I miss these classic sprites. Alright, gas is level 8. Let's do Hypnosis first. There we go. Brilliant. I'm surprised we were able to do that. I would think Pidgeotto's got to be much faster, right? So... Oh, crap. I forgot. I don't have Lick. Or I don't have a useful damage attack. Son of a... All right, fine. Um, crap, that's annoying. Totally forgot about that. I was thinking he learned a move, new move, and I was like, oh, he can do damage, but nope. It'll be a stalemate if I have to put out... Yeah, if I have to put him out ghastly because he won't be able to do damage to him. Ah, it's so annoying. How much damage is that doing? A lot. I hit him with hypnosis. I don't know what I was thinking just now. That was dumb. Damn it. Okay, no will to battle. Alright, Hopip, it's up to you, buddy. You gotta just tackle this thing. That's gonna be hard. I don't know if I can beat him. I locked myself into a corner here. Locked myself? Whatever. Now, what were your moves? They were all trash, pretty much. Tail whip tack, yeah, all, all garbage. God, are you kidding me, dude? Unreal, man. This sucks. Uh, this might be the first time that I lose. His gust is just, like, too strong. Not prepared. I thought Poliwag would have had it. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead for sure. Take his power points away. Yep, he's out. 
damn it. That's never happened before. I am not ready for this. <sighs> Shoot. That's what I get. That's what I get. I thought for sure. I thought for sure. I'm just going to have to use my potions until his power points run out if possible. If I had a revive, that would be useful. There's no way we come out on this. I know when. Yeah, there's no way. I can't. See, this is your fault, actually. I blame you for this. It's because you guys were telling me that I freaking was doing uh, too much damage and I had to mix it up. And so I was like, okay, fine. I'll give myself a challenge. And now I totally screwed myself. How many gusts do you have left? Shouldn't that be it? I don't know how many. Ha I don't know how many is in there. He used it a handful of times, and I thought Spike cut it in half, but did it not do a half damage? Son of a bitch. No, I'm dead. Nope. Not gonna work. Yeah, it's over. He beat me. Synthesis isn't gonna do anything. Yeah, it's over. We gotta we gotta approach that differently. Um, I mean, there's not really there's no other strategy that I have. I've made it difficult for me. I could grind and level up more, but like I don't like what's the point? Um, and I'm broke, so I don't have any money to go buy any potions either. All right, let's try again. I wish he would say something like, "Oh, back for more." Let's do it. That blows. I I also thought about maybe just like editing it out, but but you gotta see my failures. I'm taking a very different approach this game. That sucks, I feel so lame now. That is a really good, this was a really great educational thing as well too. This was really, really useful for educational purposes, just to kind of learn this. What do I have in my pack for healing? Anything? 10 HP and confusion, okay. I, that's not how I want to start. What do you mean didn't affect? Damn it, just say mist or something. Dirt bag. Man, I need Poliwag to level up. Stats put him at a huge disadvantage. He needs better moves. I don't you're not gonna learn anything good for a little bit longer. He'll level up here though at least. Yeah, Steve, stay fast asleep, baby. Thinking now that I might, I have to consider, I have to consider that I might not get the Polyrath I wanted. I might have to do Polytoad. I don't want to do that. I have to think long. Long and hard about that. Long and hard. Long and hard. Long and hard about all that. All right. Oh, whatever. I'll just try my luck here. Nice. Okay, at least we got that first. I need to monitor how much damage he can do with Gust. And then jump in with those berries ASAP. That's going to take a long time. To trim his health away. And I hope that Faulkner doesn't use any health item. If he does, I'm going to lose again. That's never happened. That has never happened before. Sucks, sucks, sucks. All right, this is going all right. Right around the orange. There it is. Damn. All right, I have one... One chance. Ah, I can't risk it. I can't risk it. Gastly has to be the one to go out there. And he's got to put him down. I got to do the others first. I shouldn't knock him out, but it'll be very close. Oh, it didn't at all. Okay, good. Well done. Okay, first thing that I want to do... Got me again. All right. 
Oh, we had quite a few berries. Okay, that's good to know. Yep. All right. Good night, Ghastly. I never would have thought that Ghastly would have had so much trouble, but he's underleveled and he has no damage dealing moves that affect him. I didn't think about Lick not working on birds until he got here, and I was like, ah, crap. All right, Polywag, I need you to hit him with Hypnosis and do not miss. God, son of a, come on. Come on. Why are you punishing me? That is not fair, dude. I, there we go. I can take this. Uh, I can take a few more hits. Three more gusts. I need to finish him first. That's what she said. And then um, it'll be over. Come on. Don't wake up. Don't wake up. There we go. I don't, is that going to be a KO? He's going to have a little bit of health left, I think. Damn it. Yes. Thank you for having pity on me this time. Yes. That was a hard fight. I don't want to keep doing that. I do not want to keep experiencing that. That sucked. That sucked. Sucked. Darn, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. All right, take this. It's the official Pokemon League's effort badge. All right, gotta give myself that as well. Badges. Zephyr, brilliant. And 900 bucks so I can go kill up and buy some items. <sighs> Freaking Faulkner gave me some trouble. All right, I'm not doing that again. I'm gonna have to do some leveling up in between videos. What's TM31? It's a flying type move. Do I have, what does it do? Consistently learn a new move. Think before you act. TM can be used only once. TM throw against mud slap. Oh, I don't care about that. Use an enemy's act because damage. It is both defensive and offensive. Well, maybe it is useful, but not for my team yet. I don't really need to know that move right now, but all right. Nice battle. Keep it up and you'll be the champ in no time at all. Okay, yeah. Phone call. Hello, Marcy. We discovered something about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you talk to him? Is he going to give it to me for hatching? Because I'm just going to probably hatch it. I don't really want to deal with it that much. Well, let's heal up. That's more important. You're out late. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. We can heal your Pokemon to perfect health. Shall we heal your Pokemon? Yes, 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 yes. Dude, that sucked, man. I kind of feel... Man, I feel so lame. I feel like a loser now. But I freaking lost to Faulkner. He's like the coolest looking trainer. One of. But man, he's so weak. I lost. I don't know. Marcy, long time no see. Professor Elm asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Would you take the Pokemon egg? Alright. We discovered that a Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. It also has to be with other active Pokemon to hatch. Marcy, you're the only person he can rely on. Please call Professor Elm when that egg hatches. Does it count as a Pokemon now? Because it was a key item before. Ugh, frustrating. It took my spots. All right. Well, I'll worry about that in the next episode. But I think for now, what I should do is probably put, uh, put that on here. Hold on a second. Let's do that real fast. Um, okay. Where is... Where did I put this? Oh, you know what? I actually know where this is at. Hold on. There it is. Okay, that's a big freaking egg. Let's resize that real quick. Put that on here. Bing, bing, bing. I need to see if there's like some sort of egg gif out there or gif out there for this. But anyway, that's a something else I'll have to do in between videos and see if maybe there's like an animated egg that I can sit on here. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode of the playthrough. I know that didn't go quite perfectly, but we ended up getting our first batch. So that's great. We got our team growing a little bit. I'll have to do some leveling up to kind of prepare us for the future because like that was a really tough fight. But uh, we'll worry about that in between episodes, so I'm going to go do some training. In the meantime, though, if you enjoyed this episode, you can share your love by hitting the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. 
Any feedback for me, leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to take a look at the description box. There are some links that might be of interest to you, one of which is a link to the Mark and I community Discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. I'm very active there, and the uh, community is thriving and growing. So come stop by and say hey. Otherwise, just know that I appreciate you and your time, and hope to see you when we continue with more of our playthrough of Pokemon Crystal. All right, that's it for me. Take care, be well. I'll see you next time. Later.